quantum Hadamard test. Implementation of some quantum algorithms requires computing the expectation value of an arbitrary unitary operator U with respect to state Psi. This can be done using a Hadamard test. The Hadamard test consists of two quantum circuits, one for the real part and one for the imaginary part of the expectation value which we want to calculate. In both cases, we will measure the control qubit. And for these circuits, the expectation value of the measurement result will be equal to the real or imaginary part of the desired expectation value. If you are confused by so many expectation values, I recommend watching my video about the expectation values in quantum mechanics and observables in quantum computing. The final expectation value can then be calculated as a sum of real and imaginary parts. Let's start with the real part. To perform the Hadamard test, we need the quantum register prepared in a state Psi and an additional qubit which then will be used as a control qubit. First, we bring the system in a superposition state, applying the Hadamard gate. Then, we apply the unitary operator on the register containing Psi conditioned on the first qubit. Afterwards, we apply another Hadamard gate to the control qubit and get the final state of the system before the measurement. But that's only half of the job. For the Hadamard test, we are interested in the expectation value of the measurement result. We read out only one qubit and the observable is operator Z. It can be shown that the expectation value of operator Z is the probability to measure the control qubit in a state 0 minus the probability to measure it in a state 1. Now let's calculate them. Phi is the state of the system before the measurement. When we measure the control qubit, it will be thrown into one of the eigenstates, 0 or 1. According to the measurement postulate, the probability to measure the control qubit in a state 0 is the following squared inner product. Now we substitute the expression for phi. State 0 is orthogonal to state 1 and therefore the second term vanishes. Now we can write down the squared absolute value. After multiplying two expressions in brackets and doing some simple math, we get the probability to measure the control qubit in a state 0. We can also calculate in the same way the probability of measuring the control qubit in state 1. The expectation value of the measurement result is the difference between two probabilities. The next step is to prove that the obtained expression is the real part of the expectation value of an operator u with respect to state psi. Let's decompose operator u on the real and imaginary parts a and b and express them via u and its complex conjugate u is an asterisk. The real part of u is u plus its complex conjugate divided by 2. However, in the difference between two probabilities, we have u plus its Hermitian adjoint. Since we need the expectation value of u plus its Hermitian adjoint, the expectation value of Hermitian adjoint of u is equal to the expectation value of complex conjugate of u because the expectation value is scalar. Therefore, the difference between the two probabilities is equal to the real part of the expectation value which we want to calculate. To obtain a variable whose expectation is equal to the imaginary part of the expectation value of an operator u with respect to state psi, one has to add a phase gate after the first Hadamard gate. Again, the first Hadamard gate will create a superposition state. The subsequent phase gate will convert plus sign into minus i 
in the term where the control qubit is in a state 1. Then we apply the unitary operator on the register containing psi conditioned on the first qubit. Afterwards we apply another Hadamard gate to the control qubit and get the final state of the system before the measurement. Since we need the expectation value of the measurement result, we calculate the probability to measure the control qubit in a state 0 and in a state 1. The difference between these two probabilities is equal to the imaginary part of the expectation value we are looking for. This can be shown in the same way as we did it for the real part. The Hadamard test has many applications in quantum algorithms such as the variational quantum linear solver or a Heronov jones landau algorithm. You may find the relevant references in the description of this video.